Oh, we've had some of the stupidest things happen on vlogs recently. Albatross. Albatross. All right, guys, we're back with another video out here at Turnberry in Scotland. We're going to be playing the front nine on my channel, back nine on Brody's channel. A little stable for the action. Yeah, and you get the jet lag special. Yes. Yeah, so which I don't think you've actually had to deal with before. This is the first time I've ever played golf on jet lag, and let me tell you guys, I've had three hours of sleep in the last 48 hours, I think, so I'm currently dying. I have five cups of coffee in my system, and I'm hoping to break 95. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to break 85. I don't, I think 95 is a little bit too high. I, I think 85. I, I think the goal is to break 85 today. We can do it. If we break 85, it'll be a good day. Um, another cool thing, we're down here for Scott Vlog 2019. Uh, essentially, it's just nine vloggers getting together, playing a little stable for a tournament at four different courses. Brody and I are in a group, so that's what we're doing here today. Stay in play. That was way too much cut. Guys, it's right. Garen hits his three-way as far as I hit my driving iron, guys. Hands are currently so you know. shaking from all the coffee, so. Oh, he roped it. Oh, yes. And he hit it absolutely perfect. Should be coming into the screen. Yes, sir. Jet lag helps. I think right down the middle, guys. Great first shot. This is the ordeal we got going here. Electric carts and mine is taking off. My, mine's going like 20 miles per hour. Uh, but I hit the fairway. Brody's in the rough. Probably not in the most ideal position. All right, we've come upon Brody's ball here. Um, in the right, tall stuff, not the best lie. Yeah, this is a uh, rough that you normally don't see in the United States. I'll tell you that much right now. That's what he's looking at. Um, pin looks to be a little bit in the front, about 125. Oh, that looks good if it goes. Short quite a bit, but a little short. Just had to gou gouge it out. I'm gonna have to try to get up and down for my par. But does everyone know how Stableford works? Yeah. I'm gonna explain it. Stableford basically is how it works. If you make a par, you get two points. You make a bogey, you get one point. Double and higher is zero. Birdie is three, eagle is four. You add up all your points and that's your score. We're doing handicaps. So basically if you play by your handicap, you should get 36 points. So if you get higher than 36 points, you're a sandbagger. If you get lower than 36 points, you played bad. Boom. 101 to the front here, guys. I'm gonna hit 56. I'm sorry, I just had to like take a second. Look at that. Wait, what, what happened? Yeah. Okay, did you just do that in your swing? No, it's just like that. We're gonna see if you can get this one close. Hitting it really low, flighting it lower probably than he wanted to. And on the back right, does it stay on? It does. He's got a putt for birdie on his first hole in Scotland, folks. I'm surprised. All right, guys, so I was just made aware that this course, Turnberry, is the number one course in Europe. It's hosted four Opens. The best one was called what? There was the, the Jack... Jewel, Jewel in the Sun by Jack Nicholas and Tom Watson in 1966. Jack Nicholas, Tom Watson, 1966. All I'm saying, guys, this course is really nice. It's had a lot of crazy history out here. So um, if you haven't already, smash that like button. All right, Brody here, a little short of the green with this third shot to get up and down for a par. Oh, go. That's that's there, Brody. Oh, that's, that's gotta sit. Yeah, good putt. All right, all right, all right. All well, right, all right, all right. Well done, well done. I got a putt for two points. I'll take it. All right, Garrett has found himself one of the most scenic putts he's probably ever had in his life. He's got a huge rock sculpture in the very back. If he makes this, this is probably gonna go on the IG. Good speed. Yep. And he might give me a perfect line. All right, oh, this is to make a par. <laughs> And two points for Team Twigs. There's only one twig today. Well, yeah, you're still representing. Yep, and there it is. Brody here to finish out with his par. Well done. All right, guys, so after hole one, Brody and I both made pars, and we were both at two points. All right, guys, we're on to hole two here. It goes left, and there's a bunker left and a bunker right, so I'm going to hit driver. Hopefully, hit a draw in the middle of the fairway. That's the plan, but you never know with this jet lag. Ripped it. Not sure where the curvature is. A little too much draw. A little too much draw, he says. Brody here with driver, claiming he's going to bomb it. I saw probably. him hit. I probably was <laughs> definitely used. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm gonna probably bomb it. I heard a lot of confidence. All I'm saying is I saw him hit a few fades on the range, so he needs to hit a draw I'm here. Let's my head back, my hat backwards right now too. 
That's right, folks. Get more right. Get more right, he says. All right, guys, Brody with his drop, um, still in the tall grass, probably over 150 away, or right, right around 150. Yeah, I'm going to have to get up and down now for a, uh, what is this, bogey? All right, Brody here with a pitching wedge from 130, flighting it down, swinging easy, straight into the wind. Oh, it's drawing on me. Flight and it also kind of shot out like a rocket. I think you should have also listened to me about gap wedge. Also going to have to chip that one in. All right, guys. Uh, actually found my ball in the left rough. Thought we lost it. We walked over it like 30 times. It's right behind Brody's leg. I'm probably going to hit like a pitching wedge or a gap wedge here. Wow. Great shot. All right, guys, so that's where my ball ended up for a birdie putt. Brody's trying to get up and down. Bump and run, tough play. All right, guys, the bump and run play for Brody out of the tall grass was not an ideal play. Looks like he's got to make this. Never do that again. Also, didn't notice that, but I was just filming his feet because I was entirely zoomed in. That's my bad. Oh, did he do it for double? No, that would have been for one point. Oh, for bogey. Yeah. My I bad. I needed that for a point. Now, now I get X. X on the second hole, not good. All right, folks, Garrett here. Don't worry about it, dude. Really? He's electing to go first, <laughs> even though his ball is a little bit in front of all these behind him. Garrett has a double breaker. It's going to go right, his right, our left, and then his left, our right, if that makes any sense. And oh. it's a pretty good putt. It's straight. It's back to back pars. That's a two pointer. Put it on the board. Cannot be upset about that. And just like that, yeah. four points for Garrett after yeah, hole two holes. Guys, update after hole two. My cart is currently driving itself. And uh, I'm at four points after two pars and two holes. Um, I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised I made any sort of a swing. You're kind of um, killing it. The goal is just to keep the ball in play. Clearly, I showed you what not to do on hole number two. In other words, Brody is still at two points after taking a zero pointer on hole two, on a hole three here, folks. Hole three is a par, par four, 378, downwind. We're going for it. Yeah, we all go. Yeah, 378 downwind, dogleg right, we're all going for it. You swung outside of his shoes. Oh gosh, never a good sign. What? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> That's a bomb right at the green. That could get on the green. Just like that, I'm back, baby. Stableford. We're in a bit of a tough spot here. 125, 56 degree. Hit and hope, I guess. <laughs> that might be in the green. And did you. <sighs> here today. Pin high left. We've had some of the stupidest things happen on vlogs recently. Breaking clubs, freaking four right. So is that club done? That club's done for the. All right, that club is done. All right, guys, so Brody here short on hole three after his tee shot, literally almost hit the green. Hitting his second shot to get up and down for birdie. I'm currently putting from about 25 feet down the hill for birdie, and I'm quite surprised considering I just broke a club on that shot. Go in. Go in. That's a good birdie. Yeah, I thought I made it. Cause out here, normally I make those. Just didn't go in today. No putts given today. Brody going with a foot wedge here, or foot putt. I swear, if he makes this again, I might just walk off the court. Yeah, you can't do it. Sorry. No. All right, good birdie. It's gonna come up a little short. He's got about three feet or so left for his par. All right, we're gonna get a little 360 angle here. This for three pars in a row, guys. These are these are the angles you don't see on the PGA Tour right there. Okay, that's what the people really want to see. The 360. I'm in complete shock right now, guys. Okay, I thought I was gonna come out here and make three doubles on my first three holes, and I made three pars. We're only on hole three. There, there's still time for big numbers to be had. Hole four here, straight into the wind, par three. Yeah, it's gonna be a long one. I'm guessing it's playing like 220. I'm probably hitting four iron or five iron. Brody with a six iron here. I talked him out of hitting seven iron. Didn't think he'd get it there. 
but 190 went straight into the face. Never saw it. What the heck is that ball doing? My divot's going that way. <laughs> His divot is going that way. He's got a point. My swing is in shambles. All right, guys, after one of my worst swings of my life, my ball went way over there. Garrett's super indecisive on the club selection, was very indecisive on mine, and at the end of the day, it did not matter because I barely hit the ball. Oh, he kind of did the same thing I did. Did that go right too? Yeah. Oh boy. It's like you guys are like brothers. Oh boy. We're in, we're in trouble, <laughs> folks. All right, guys. Walking up to the green on hole four. Brody, what do you have to say? I think one of the things that me and Garrett are probably going to start doing a little bit is waking up early in the morning and actually going to the range to hit real golf shots. Because hitting golf shots with pans, it doesn't really equate to low scores when you're actually on the course yourself. Yeah, and spoons, that's a whole other story. <laughs> that's even worse. Update, guys. This is where my ball actually ended up, and it's a really good lie. Uh, just right of the green by about 25 yards, so definitely not my best shot. But I got a chance to get a par. Brody, on the other hand, he is on another level of right. Well, guys, Brody taking a drop over here after... My ball's somewhere. It just can't be found. He's got about like 40 yards still. He's got a chance. Up and down for par and to start with eight. Needs to release a little bit. Yeah. All right, he's left himself a little bit of a, a long par putt. And uh, Brody here for bogey. No way, no way. No. Oh! That's par double bogey, birdie double bogey. <laughs> That's a rough start right there. Like I said, my swing is in shambles. But this is for a par. This is for four pars in a row. Give Garrett eight points. Really? Oh, he didn't hit it. I was in. Dang. All right. That's going to be a bogey. Ah. All right, guys. So after hole four, I'm now at seven points, one over par. Brody is still at five points. Par five, uh, dog leg right to left. There's bunkers right, bunkers left. That flag's up there on the left side. Kind of straight away right in front of you. Time to rip driver. Starting out on the left hand side, should be coming back. Never saw it come down. Garrett, thoughts? Middle of the fairway. Perfect. Ball. That one's a bit right. Brody actually ended up in good position. He's about 50 yards right of his target, but he's okay. And he's got like 280 and he's hitting three wood. The line's a little bit shaky. My left foot's gonna be pretty high. Yeah, plus you gotta get that straight up. Look at the tall grass, Brody. I don't know if this is the play. Good luck. Guys, he needs to get this one up. Like, really bad. <laughs> Why did I just attempt that shot? Brody! I hit that really good. That was pure. <laughs> I hit that really good. I think we lost it. <laughs> We're delirious. I, all I heard was hit splat. <laughs> just like kerplunk. I'm going to hit a wedge now. <laughs> Guys, let me know if you've ever done anything like that because I've never seen anything like that. I told him he was going to have to get it up and he hit it really solid, but just wasn't enough. Ah! Oh my. Not in the bunker. No, that's perfect. <gasps> you killed that. Garrett, perfect position. Middle of the fairway. 240 into the wind, three wood going for it. Love it. Oh, that's Ooh. gonna look pretty. That could go in the hole. So Albatross. Good. Albatross. Wow, wow, dude, that's a shot. Great shot, man. Thank you. Brody's got four in his hand, claims he's gonna make par, so I wanna see it happen. Looking solid, it's just a little right. All right guys, so it's gonna be tough to tell on camera, but here's where the pin's at, and then here's like a big ridge. So it's a really tough pin location. My ball's right down there uh, for Eagle on the front. We'll see if I can two putt. Brody, we're still looking for his ball. Okay, so Brody in the side of the hill. He basically has no chance.
Another X. <laughs> All right, so if you don't know what that means, Brody just got zero points in that hole. So Brody needs to make a comeback here. Garrett now has this putt for his eagle. All right, he didn't leave it short, but dear lord, he hit it hard. Oh, he got it in. I thought that was going to miss. I thought you were missing it high. Got his first birdie in Scotland. All right, guys, so after hole five, I'm now at 10 points in Stableford because I just made a birdie, which gives me three points. I'm also even par through five holes on my first round in Scotland, so... I'm having a blast out here. It's definitely interesting playing my first round extremely jet lag, but it's a pretty cool experience. All right, guys, 145 to the green. Par three, hole six. It's probably not as easy as it looks, to be honest with you. All right, thankfully, Brody is going ahead and showing me the way so I get the wind advantage. I mean, I have no chance of winning, so I might as well just, you know, let Team Twig over here take the dub. Get left. First bunker shot of the day. Yeah, first bunker shot of the day. I, you know, I felt like we were hitting too many good shots, so I wanted to show you guys <laughs> what a bad shot looks like. I expected the win. Oh, oh, oh double good contact. Bunker buddies. <laughs> Currently walking backwards up to the green because of the sun. This camera angle's better. Uh, Brody and I are going to be doing a little up and down challenge since we both hit it into the bunker. What are we doing it for? Loser has to play the bagpipes. All right. All right. Guys, this is my first Scottish bunker shot. Sounded really good. I just hit it not hard enough. This is what I'm having to deal with. Garrett's probably going to win this one. Oh! That was close. That was actually really close. Yeah, I but almost got out. Look where you are now. Ah. <laughs> Still not a good lie. All right, part number three. Oh, yeah, what a shot. Garrett now for a par. This will be a ridiculous up and down. Man, nah, the not going to do it. Off to a great start in Scotland. All right, guys, so after hole six, I'm now one over par. Uh, that was an unfortunate bogey, but after hitting it in that bunker, it's really tough to get it up and down out of these bunkers. Guys, hole seven here kind of looks like an easier par five. Uh, maybe I'm totally wrong, but it's dog leg left. Seems to be a bunker on the right, bunker on the left. Uh, 491, so I'm bombs away with driver. Starting right. It's pretty good, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, never mind, that's not good. Well, I went through the fairway and a little right, so it wasn't bad though, I struck it well. I definitely, ah. Update on Brody, he's not playing like he normally does. It's just how it is sometimes. Yep, just short left, running out. And might have caught the green, not sure. There's a little swell there. But he's in a good position to get up and down for his birdie. Guys, I didn't catch Brody's third shot there. Obviously, he wedged it out to here, which left him with... 118. 118. Better. This green is extremely undulated. It goes straight uphill, like down, then up. Uh, this is my putt at Eagle. I didn't think I hit the green, but it was like guarded by that front little knob. Uh, Brody's here for birdie, so we both got decent looks here. Really just looking for a two putt birdie here. If he makes it, it's even right, extra Eagle. bonus, and that's so Thanks. good. Thanks. Very good. Good tap in, birdie. Oh! 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 oh. That would have been the I would have counted it! I would have counted it. All right, guys. Uh, after hole seven, I'm currently even par uh, with 14 points. Might be in the lead overall for everyone. You better win this thing. I'm going to be pissed. All right, guys. Two holes left in today's vlog. Part two will be on Brody's channel. So if you haven't gone and subscribed to his channel, you guys could do that. You're definitely not watching part two for me. That's for sure. You're watching part two to see how low Garrett goes. <laughs> All, right. All right. But we are on to hole eight. Um, it looks to be 
a par four dog leg left bunkers all along the right side seems to be a little bit of a tight fairway a little right Gosh! another strike he is swinging it well today ladies and gentlemen all right brody here down in uh a big grass patch Boom. What a shot, actually. Where'd I go? Right by my ball. Brody's ball's right there. That's my ball right there. We're about 147 to the middle of the green, straight into the wind. I'm probably going to go ahead and hit nine iron. Oh my God. It was better, though. Ah. Starting out right. I think I'm starting to transfer over my bad swings to Garrett. I'm sorry, dude. If Garrett hasn't already, guys, I just want to apologize for my poor play. But you know what? Sometimes you don't have it. Today I don't have it. So we're just going to struggle and uh, try to make some pars. That's the goal. All right, Garrett now. He's got about a four-foot lip right in front of him. This is like, I might make this. Oh, no. I think I made that. If he gets this out, this would be nice. Oh, he's going for? I just bladed that. I had that, too. He's going for the nice? On the knees, bunker shot here. Oh no. Oh no, guys. <laughs> Third time's a charm. This is uh, a little bit easier though. Smaller lip in front of him. He's out. I could have easily done that the first try. Alright guys, Brody's got this long putt for bogey. At first I thought it was like for birdie, but then I realized he had two other shots in between that. <laughs> No point for Brody. This literally means nothing. Literally meant nothing. Alright, so Brody's going to grind over his double because it means everything and nothing at the same time. Alright, pulling a Steven didn't work. <laughs> I'm currently three over par. I'm coming off a triple bogey and we're going to this hole. Not what you want to see. 314 yards, par three. It's downwind, so I'm hitting three wood. I think it's like 225. Okay, 225. Hey, hold on. Yeah, 240. 240. I'm hitting one iron from 248. You guys watch this. It's going in the hole. I need some points. I'm at 14 right now. Oh, I hit it. I think we're just right of the green. Oh, oh, oh. A little right as well, but still struck so well. That's actually really well done. Sit. From there. Sit. Sit. I almost died. That <laughs> ball almost hit me. Garrett from the thick stuff. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be really good. All right, we have pretty much, uh, he might be a little bit further than me. Uh, it's gonna break so that much. terrible. And he's gonna shoot 40. Here today. 40 at Trump Turnberry. I don't know what this is for for Brody or for Let's Brody. Say 45. We'll just say it's for 45. Yeah. How am I making a par on a 240-yard par three? But not easy holes. But not on holes out of 380. All right, so we're going to the halfway house, which happens to be a lighthouse. And after that hole, I ended up being, what was that, 40? I yeah, shot. I was, a, I was a solid 40. Yeah. The break 80 challenge is legit for you. Hey, I could break 80 first time playing this course. And honestly, I'd be extremely happy with it. 40 on the front nine, not terrible. I think I ended up with 15 points. Not really sure how many Brody had, but we'll probably tally it up. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. I'm trying to run away. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want you guys to see my face after that performance. Yeah, it was rough. Yeah. Um, not ideal for honestly either of us. Just one hole for me, and uh, yeah, I'm tired. But if you guys want to go check out part two, go check out Brody's channel tomorrow. I'll try to play better golf for you guys.